Welcome to the Online Archives Workshop for the Robert W. Woodruff Library in the Atlanta University Center. Today we will explore the Reverend Gardner C. Taylor Collection, housed in the Archives Research Center on the upper level of the library. In this workshop, I will illustrate how to use the collection's finding aids to locate documents in the Gardner Taylor Collection by title, scripture, date, and place. But first, allow me to share with you some background on Reverend Gardner C. Taylor and the collection. The Reverend Gardner C. Taylor Collection is one of the most extensive collections at the Archives Research Center. Spanning more than 1,100 original manuscript titles, the collection includes sermons as well as a few speeches, prayers, eulogies, and lectures, and covers the period from 1947 to 2001. Reverend Taylor, born in 1918, was named the Dean of the Nation's Black Preachers by Time Magazine, and has preached and lectured all over the world to a variety of audiences. He holds more than 100 honorary doctorate degrees and remains a powerful voice in unpacking cultural, social, and religious issues. An examination of his sermons reveals the vast number of topics that Reverend Taylor addresses, from the war in Vietnam, to civil rights, to evangelism, to race relations, and self-development. Students, researchers, and instructors will find this collection relevant to teaching and learning about a variety of subjects in African American religion, religious studies, political science, literature, composition, and more. This workshop has been composed to aid teachers, researchers, and students in utilizing the collection based on their needs and interests. This collection is especially useful for those interested in doing interdisciplinary or cross-disciplinary research and instruction as well. Now I will demonstrate how to find manuscripts in the collection. First, let's begin at the library's homepage, which is www.auctr.edu. Here you will find information about all of the resources the library offers including the operating hours of the Archives Research Center, which you can find in the gray column on your left. Once you arrive at the library's homepage, on the right-hand side of the page, you will see a tab titled Collections. Under this tab, click on Archives slash Special Collections. Now we want to go to the fourth bullet point, Manuscript and Archival Collection Highlights. Then we'll click on Manuscript and Archive Collections. We're scrolling down now until we reach the Gardner Taylor Collection. As mentioned before, this collection is unique in that you can search not only by title and the finding aids, but also by scripture, date, and by place. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will illustrate how to search the finding aid by title. I'm going to click this link and now a PDF file will show up which I will then adjust until we can read the text clearly. As you'll see in column E, title of speech, all of the speeches are listed alphabetically. You can use a finding toolbar here up at the top to search by particular words that you're looking for in order to enable you to have a more concrete search. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use the word community. Then I press enter and it takes me through the entire document in all of the places that community appears. The reader tells me I finished searching the document and I've now been able to find four or five documents. It's important to note that since this collection is composed of over 1,100 manuscript titles, you want to have a clear idea of what you're looking for before you visit the Archives Research Center. Now I'm going to go back to the previous page that we were on 
and click on the finding aid by scripture. And you can see in column F that the scriptures are listed according to the corresponding speeches. You can search within this field as well with using the finding aid. And as a demonstration, I'm going to put in Genesis. So starting here, you can see all of the different sermons or speeches that Gardner Taylor uses a scripture from Genesis for. Once you decide what box or boxes of the collection you would like to review or research, you can then email archives, A-R-C-H-I-V-E-S at A-U-C-T-R dot E-D-U to request to see the materials and to make an appointment. Generally, the center is open 1 to 7 p.m. Monday through Thursday, 1 to 5 p.m. Fridays, and 1 to 7 p.m. Saturdays but make sure to check the library website for the archives operating hours before making an appointment. I have also prepared a research and curriculum guide for the Gardner C. Taylor collection, which will be useful for researchers, instructors, and students. The guide is available on the Archives Research Center's website. Most notably, it includes a listing of selected sermons by subject, which you can see an excerpt of on the left-hand side of this slide and research and discussion questions, which are excerpted on the right, that will be of interest to you. Thank you for your interest in this online archives workshop. Please take some time to discover all that the Archives Research Center has to offer, from the Maynard Jackson Mayorial Administrative Records to the Tupac Shakur Papers, which are newly acquired and will be available for use in fall 2010. Please do not hesitate to contact the library and its Archives Research Center with your research interests and questions. Thank you.